I just click on the phone number that I want to dial from my phone and Chrome proposes a couple of options. I can directly call from my OnePlus phone. It already knows I have a OnePlus phone. Or if I'm fancy, I can use FaceTime. I'm not fancy. So I'm going to just hit this. And in a second, you see that it shows up on my phone. That is so nifty. Welcome to a bright episode 43, where we are still talking about tech. Yesterday. So what you guys saw over there was Google Chrome doing its thing and I'll just walk you guys through how I did it and then we'll talk about it for a bit because this is this is interesting. So I'm running the latest version of Android on my OnePlus 5T, it's an Android 9. So if you have a prehistoric Android, this won't work. I've updated Chrome on my computer. How do I know that? If you see these three little dots over here, means your Chrome is updated. I'm not even connected to the same Wi-Fi network. I'm on 3G on my phone and Wi-Fi in my uh, on my computer. I just click on the phone number that I want to dial from my phone and Chrome proposes a couple of options. I can directly call from my OnePlus phone. It already knows I have a OnePlus phone. Or if I'm fancy, I can use FaceTime. I'm not fancy. So I'm going to just hit this. And in a second, you see that it shows up on my phone. That is so nifty. This one, my OnePlus 5T is like two years old, but it still has a decent camera, amazing screen, really fast response. So I don't, don't need to wait. I don't need a new phone. Our phones and computers have gotten so good now that there's not much left to add. So the software needs to be that much better if you want to stick with these giants. Now, Apple does an amazing job integrating their iPhone to the Mac computers. I have a Mac computer and an Android phone. It's not that much fun. In order to cross this over and to make sure you stick with Chrome, Chrome needs to have the best. This is the reason. Eh? If you want to see it this way, this is the Chrome is the reason why Sundar Pichai rose to such power at Google because it was his little project. It started off with a little toolbar, a Google toolbar that you could put on your Internet Explorer, in your Firefox and in your Safari, which is very intrusive, very shabby and looks really unesthetic until Sundar's team, Sundar Pichai, respect, came up with Google Chrome. And it's so dependable that even where I work, we are pro Microsoft. We use only Microsoft stuff. We do not want to go to the Google side, but they always open Chrome. Now Chrome can go so far as to become an OS in itself. And actually it's not even important that they follow the rules. Apple follows these rules. They have a version of the software for their phone. They call it iOS. They have a version of the software for their computer, which they call Mac OS. And they've worked on, they've cross worked on these two software so that they can talk to each other really, really well. You have things like iMessage integration and AirDrop that you see nowhere else. And that's probably the only advantage technically that they have over an Android Mac pair. Apart from that, and of course the shenanigans of having a fancy Apple phone, Apple has nothing more on Android. If they blur those lines, that makes it more of a reason for you to buy an Android phone because it works equally as well. Now, when it comes to AirDrop, we are far, far away from getting there. But when it comes to this continuity, I still I think that they are they are really getting there. When these big companies compete so hard to have a b b bigger market share, it's us consumers that win in convenience. It's as simple as just tapping that phone number. I usually have my Bluetooth headset connected. Uh, it's, a, it's dangling around my, my ears. So if I need to make a call from my phone, all I need to do is tap, tap, connect, and the call is going. Maybe it's not that big a deal, and uh, entering the 10 digits is not that painful. But it's just the fact that you can count on this. You will never, I would never leave Chrome and physically install Firefox or something else on my phone, given that it has these little things. Now, I must admit that this is hit and miss. Sometimes when I do it, it uh, it's just loading and it doesn't work. And sometimes it's just instantaneous with like a one second lag. You'll physically have to go to messages.android.com, come back here, copy this phone number, go back to messages, hit start chat, paste the phone number and send a message, which is fine. It is a workaround and it works, which is fine. But if Chrome is proposing me to make a call, it should propose me to send a message from my computer itself. Why not? 
also if i'm being nitpicky when i restart my computer which happens once in a way i have to rescan the qr code the i message ecosystem does not really is this intriguing to you guys that the top of the top tech users today stick with iphone just because of iMessage, because that beautiful integration of carrying on on your computer. The day Google gets there, I'll make another video. That's been it for this one. I'll see you guys next week. Keep learning. Chrome also has this little uh, share link feature. And when you click that, it's supposed to go to your phone. It says sending, but it doesn't work. It's just there and broken. It doesn't work.